Good morning, I'm Sharad Kutton. Welcome to BFM's Morning Headlines. No prizes for guessing who's on the front page and uh, how many front pages actually cover this story. It is Obama, of course, Obama in Malaysia. Uh, but it's not just a day for Obama, it's a day for Prime Minister Najib. This is a coup for him. Uh, and not just because he's managed a selfie. There it is, uh, adults acting like teenagers. Very heartening, but there it is. Front page, Obama on changing relationships between the two countries. The Edge Financial Daily, the Malaysian Reserve, the Star, the New Straits Times. Now, I can go on like this, but the important thing is that most of the papers cover what is the reality of uh, that visit, that it was to seal ties over what? Well, a range of things, including uh, the question of uh, maritime safety and uh, navigation in the region. Malaysia is a very important country in the region because of its part control of the Straits of Malacca, an amazing seaway that uh, has been going for some millennia now. And this is where Brita Harian comes in. He answers questions regarding Najib, what he thinks of the Prime Minister, about not meeting with Anwar. President Obama says that he doesn't often meet with uh, leaders of the opposition. Uh, what's also true is that Obama went on to say that just because he didn't meet Anwar Ibrahim doesn't mean he's not concerned. That Those are the words he used. Also, of course, Susan Rice. This is a story that doesn't quite appear in many of the papers. Uh, Susan Rice, who is the head of national security, the second highest ranking member of the American political elite. There on that delegation, she met with Anwar Ibrahim. Now, Hubungan Malaysia, America Sharika. This again is the bilateral ties, the issue of the TPPA, and of course the protests that happened at yesterday's town hall. Again, a story that doesn't quite make it to any of the papers when uh, students uh, stood up with a no to the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. Now that is also there. Is Washington bullying Malaysia? Is Malaysia accepting this willingly? Najib says there are a lot of benefits for Malaysia. Obama says the same thing, and he says he's not bullying Malaysia into signing this treaty. But we know that there are larger issues, including the fast track issue that have been discussed on uh, BFM's current affairs programs. You can always po uh, download those podcasts. Also, MH370, the American government says that it wants greater transparency in order to help with that case. Now, also, on a side tangent is Sina Haryan. There it has Hanti Tindas Islam, the words of Imam Basar Masjid Nagara, the chief uh, Imam of uh, the National Mosque. Now he's saying, uh, or rather asking Obama if Obama will help in stopping the oppression of Muslims around the world. Uh, it would have been nice if the Imam Basar included all oppressed people because, of course, uh, America, to the extent it can, uh, can help do that, though it itself is involved in quite a bit of oppression, if you think of the drone policy and the many thousands of people who have been killed by America's drone policy around the world. Those are the issues. Uh, the Sun, again, there it has on the front page, a cord, lots of smiles, can't help those smiles because it is a PR opportunity for both leaders. Uh, Obama trying to make his claim that he is the first Asia Pacific president in his policy statement of a pivot to Asia, all of which hasn't seen much reality in the six and a half years of his tenure as president of America. He's only got two and a half years left to make good on this Asia Pacific promise. He's been distracted and he continues to be distracted from that. Also at the sidelines, yes, the South Korean Prime Minister resigns over the ferry disaster. Harian Metro 2 has that, see, that, another smiling opportunity here because their big story is a little more salacious. It's about sex and Facebook. Now, I do want to point out a few things uh, that you might find useful in the papers today. Uh, New Straits Times has this. Now, that's very neat. Shared objectives, alignment of Najib and uh, Obama on several issues. So that's kind of a handy um, reference point for all those interested in this issue. There again, top of the Obama's agenda, regional stability, maritime safety and freedom of navigation. Do you think that would not be the first thing? It is important. In fact, it is the bedrock of Malaysia's uh, relationship with the U.S., including a defense pact and its uh, thinking about China's role in the South China Sea. Also, uh, lots of mawkishness that I guess you'd like to avoid, including uh, a story of a columnist who talks about getting a hug from Obama. 
you think he was a celebrity. Of course, he is a celebrity. And there, Kyrie weighing in on Obama, Najib, natural chemistry. Lots of overstatement, lots of mawkishness, lots of sentimentality. That's the way the world works, I guess. And the word for the day is chemistry. Yes, chemistry. That's the word. The question is, is it explosive? That's all I have for you this morning. I'm Sharad Kutin on BFM's Morning Headlines, BFM 89.9. .9.